First, from our homepage. European banks have shed more than $1.1 trillion worth of assets since the end of 2011 in a shift away from risky investments such as asset-backed debt as regulators push lenders to shore up their balance sheets. Lenders reduced assets weighted for risk by $817 billion between December 2011 and June 2013. The European Banking Authority, the bloc's top banking regulator, said in a report on Monday. Well, this is just fantastic mumbo-jumbo double-fiscal fudgery moodle jabberwockery. <laughs> Shed, meaning let go, got rid of. Assets, meaning debts, which is a new one on me. I thought a debt was a liability. Well, I suppose if you're the debtor, then it is. But if you're the creditor, then it isn't. So, asset-backed debt. What's that, then? A financial security backed by a loan, lease or receivables against assets other than real estate and mortgage-backed securities for investors, asset-backed securities are an alternative to investing in corporate debt. Excellent. So we're all clear now then? No, we're not clear. OK, well, let's look at it this way. An ABS or asset-backed security is essentially the same thing as a mortgage-backed security, except that the securities backing it are assets such as loans, leases, credit card debt, a company's receivables, royalties and so on, and not mortgage-based securities. Yes, so it's very straightforward. An ABS is an asset backed by a loan, which is a debt. Great, but what does it all mean? Well, what it means is that the banks have dumped $1.1 trillion worth of mortgage loans they were holding on the books. Hmm. So how does that make it a good thing? Well, let's say that you thought the economy might tank and people wouldn't be able to pay their loans, i.e. mortgages, credit cards, etc. Then in a collapsed economy, the price of houses drops, as do sales. Now, if you're a bank, the last thing you want is a bunch of mortgages on your books that aren't getting paid, for which you, if you foreclosed on the assets, would lose money and probably wouldn't even be able to sell. So, as you can see, this is a positive, uplifting story with a positive outlook, if you're a banker.